Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Sullivan family. Um, it's Friday. It's Friday. We all know how I love a Friday. Um, obviously, it's a little bit different this week because the kids have been off, but I still love a Friday. But, so we've had, um, it's been a lovely week. The weather's not been so lovely, but it's been a lovely week. Obviously, we've had granny and granddad up this week um and they have just they've just left it's about 10 o'clock um they've just left because they have a two-day drive back to Cornwall <laughs> so they drive down sort of to the middle today middle of the country because obviously we are the north of Scotland and they are the very bottom of the country um so yeah they sometimes they fly but sometimes they drive uh it just depends on all of it is expensive obviously so it just depends on what suits um at the time really uh so they will take drive halfway today stay overnight and then drive the other half tomorrow so everybody is obviously a little bit um subdued today because granny and granddad have gone home um obviously the older ones are much more used to people coming and going now they've done it for all, all their lives really we've always lived away um ever since the oldest eldest two were tiny really i mean we lived in cornwall um when the eldest two were very small well i say it's not even really the eldest two um because olivia was only very tiny and then we did move back for a short space of time only for 10 months just under a year um but it became you know it was it was too difficult being then away ben would commute and it was just didn't work out so we've always kind of lived away from family. Um, the kids have always lived away from family, sorry. But it doesn't make it any easier when, you know, they have to, to go again. But it's been, it's been lovely. It's been really nice having them here. It's been nice, you know, spending time just, just, you know, just spending time really. I mean, we've, we have been out for the odd walk. It's been quite rainy and quite windy and quite cold um but we have been out and about a little bit so we've been able to show them around a little bit but obviously you can't go out for too long a time when it's cold because everybody just gets freezing agnes hasn't been 100 percent really all week to be honest she's um she's now got quite a bad chest so i made her a doctor's appointment because this happens kind of every time and it used to happen with olivia as well when she was small and she obviously has asthma and i think um a lot of the same symptoms are with Agnes as well so I'm wondering if she has um asthma as well because she just struggles every time she gets a cough or a cold it just goes to her chest and it takes ages to for her to get better again so yeah we're gonna stay indoors today I think because when she's out in the wind in the cold wind it does make her chest a lot worse so we're gonna have to stay inside today Luckily, Ben finishes at sort of three o'clock, so he'll be home um, late this after or later this afternoon. But yeah, a day indoors, I think, today. Just maybe chilling and watching some films and just, yeah. You know, um, Agnes finds it quite hard when people come and go. She gets quite upset to the point where she won't speak to people. So if Olivia goes away for a comp, um, Agnes normally won't speak to her the day before she goes because she doesn't like it when she goes away. Uh, so yeah, she finds it quite hard. The twins, Leah's not so bad. Erin finds, Erin gets quite emotional. Joseph kind of doesn't particularly, um, he doesn't, I mean, he doesn't express his emotions the same way as everybody else anyway. So he, I'm not entirely sure how, how he feels, um, how much it affects him. Uh, and Florence, this is the first time really that they've come up that she's kind of bonded with them because obviously when she was tiny they were here or when we lived in the old house and um, she was tiny, baby. And then the next time if she went through that period of time, well, she's still quite like it. She doesn't like other people very much. So she doesn't take to other people very well. And <laughs> the time they came up and she just screamed for the whole time, um, pretty much the whole week she was here, they were here, she wouldn't go to them. But this time she's because obviously she talks to them on facetime all the time this time she was a bit funny the first the first afternoon but then after that she's been like granddad's best mate um so she's going to be a little bit a little bit sad i think when she realizes they're not coming back 
but that's you know it is difficult isn't it it's difficult when you live away from family it's difficult um it's difficult for everybody really because you know yes we live here they live there and that's just how it is but you do kind of remind you of how much um how much they miss like the kids growing up and um you know we we try and inv involve this is part of the reason that we started doing youtube as well is so that they could always see you know family could always see the children and everything else because you don't you don't get to share it the same way as like when they're here you get to share everything the kids do and all the little bits and pieces but you don't get to do that so much it's not as easy over the phone or over facetime or anything like that it's um as having a person in physical physical person here so yeah it's always a bit um sad when people have to go back again but hopefully we'll see them again soon and we are going to try and get down to Cornwall at some point as well we are going to try and get take everybody down and go for a bit of holiday but it's not the um it's not the cheapest place to go and it's quite a long trek with everybody in tow I think we'd be better off flying down there to be honest so we, we will see what what brings next year and maybe we can uh get down there but anyway so today we're not really getting up to that much today to be honest we're just going to be doing bits and bobs um i've got a few things to do uh i don't think we're going to be going out and about like i said with agnes's chest so i think i'll just keep popping on and and having a chat when i remember what i was going to say Flo, Flo, can you come here? Yeah. No, she doesn't want to come here. Come here, can you come say hi? Hi. Come ready, one, two, three, up. Oh, oh say hi. Pretty. Oh, hi. Oh. Ah. You're a bit ah. fibbly today, aren't you? Ah. I think you might be teething. Oh. oh, she's gone. I had to put a jumper on because it's a bit cold. It is a bit cold today. Actually, it's quite a lot cold today. Um. It's about seven or eight degrees. And it's, it's quite cold, isn't it? Yeah, it is quite cold. Um, we we haven't been out today or doing anything like that. Everyone's kind of just chilling and pottering about the house, really. So, um, obviously, Granny and Granddad have gone. We've had some lunch. Uh, ben should be back in about an hour or two, I think. So I'm just about to go and measure the kids' feet because um, I need to get... Joseph needs some winter shoes. He's only got trainers. He needs some winter boots. Erin's walking boots are starting to feel a little bit small. Um, Leah's are fine. So I had to buy... When I bought walking boots, the beginning of the year. Would have been the beginning of this year because they'd grown out of their last ones. Erin um, was still a size 12, whereas Leah was like a 13 and a half quite often they are um like a size one will be they'll be the same size then one will grow and one will be a bit behind so i bought erin a 13 because that would give her growing room and i bought leah a one but now erin has kind of skipped right over and she's a one now and her boots are a 13 so they're starting to get a bit small there's normally a bit of room in them but they are starting to get a bit tight so i need to look at getting her Possibly her another pair, and then I'm not sure whether to get both of them another pair and a two. See, these are the dilemmas that I have. Um, so I'm going to give their feet a quick measure and see what size to get them because they have got some quite good deals on Mountain Warehouse at the moment, and they're walking boots. They wear them all the time in the winter, um, out and about and stuff. I find them better than wellies because wellies, although they're great for if it's wet, they don't keep them very warm unless you get like all singing or dancing ones with insulated insides they don't keep them very warm and they tend to be quite difficult to walk in whereas their walking boots are quite often waterproof and um they're really good for them to walk in keep their feet really nice and warm comfortable somebody's crying i think it's florence trying to get in the cupboard she keeps going into the cupboards and helping herself to things she keeps getting herself into trouble um so yeah need to look at ordering some more of them the twins coats are starting to get a bit small as well so i might have to get them new ones soon but i didn't buy any when they went back to school because their other ones were still fine um but we have kind of 
gone into autumn winter now i think for sure we were supposed to obviously we had a bit of warmth in the summer and then it was cold and then it was warm again it was cold again then it was warm again and now it has gone cold so it was it's been sitting around 10 10 degrees or less this week um and obviously with the wind it feels even colder so it might be time to get my big coat out again soon hopefully that will do another year um anyway i don't know if i updated everybody when i went to the hospital with joseph on monday um i can't remember if i did in the vlog on my last vlog or not anyway joseph had a hospital appointment on monday for his arm he had an x-ray um obviously with the cast on still the consultant is happy with how it's healing so far touch wood um and he said he'll leave it now hear somebody else showing he'll leave it now um and then he can have the cast off i think the beginning of november and then we'll look at, it'll be x-rayed again we'll look at getting it moving hopefully fingers crossed it will all go smoothly hello you're back um but obviously only time will tell but that was good that's a good a good kind of a good thing um also, I think in my shopping vlog this week, I said I was going to cook two new recipes that Isabel had found. I couldn't remember what they were called. Um, ben might have told you, actually. But So we did the one which you will have been one of the last vlogs that we did this week. Excuse the noise, it's Florence. Um, which was the pulled chicken burger one. Hi. Um, I didn't film the one that I did last night, so I did a chickpea and lentil um, dish like a not a curry as such but um it did have curry powder in it but it didn't go quite to plan it was okay uh but it didn't oh, she's, she's pulling everything apart now two minutes you understand i'm still up then there we go where are you going now oh she's going i don't know what she's doing um wrecking Isabel's bed so yeah it didn't quite go to plan as I wanted it to go Flo you're gonna fall down the bed come here she's being a monkey she's being a monkey come here up 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 up, up. oh up. oh there we go and sit with me we go <laughs> nope she's off again um yeah it didn't quite go to plan so uh i think the problem was the rest the recipe was for, for for two people and obviously i needed to make it for more but i didn't want to quadruple all the ingredients because it would have been too much of certain things and too much of some of the spices and stuff so we kind of it it was okay in the end but um not as nice as i thought it would be although we put quite a lot of spices in ours and it it, it tasted okay uh it was more of like a, a stew a chickpea and lentil stew i'd say but i think next time i'll do it i might do it with some different ingredients spice wise um so i didn't vlog that one because i wasn't sure how it was going to turn out um but i'll do some tweaks to it because i like chickpeas and i like lentils and normally i like them in a dish together but I don't know, the spices weren't quite right on this one. So she's just walked off with a load of stuff again. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have a little bit of a think and probably make up my own recipe. And I'll vlog that one and share it with you guys. Uh, so yeah, I'm now going to just go and chase her and find out what it is that she's doing. Okay, so I'm hiding out in the boys' room. I'm not hiding as such. I'm just in the boys' room because it's quieter. Because Ben is back from work and they are having tea downstairs. So it's noisy. Um, I'm busy. So I always find when I'm doing vlogs like this where I'm just chatting about things, um, I kind of have to try and find somewhere quiet to go because although the noise, I'm used to the noise, everybody else won't be. <laughs> um, the sticker stuck to my head. These are Joseph's stickers from they're not stuck very well 
from being at the hospital. Every time he got an x-ray, he got a sticker. There's about four more in my bag, bless him. Um, as well as a little collection of Spider-Men as well. Somebody sent him a Spider-Man the other day, which he, I don't know what he's done with it. I think he's got it downstairs, which he absolutely loved. Um, he got a little present in the post. I think he's taken it downstairs. Um, it's really cute. So um, whoever sent it, thank you very much. He loves it and it made him feel very special. Um, so yeah, it's very noisy downstairs, hence why I've come upstairs. Um, I was just putting the washing away as well. I just noticed a lot of stuff behind the door that I've not yet finished doing. I, I'm reminded when I come into rooms that um, there's still so much stuff that we haven't done yet, but you know, normal life takes over and you just end up doing all the normal life stuff, don't you? And all the other bits and pieces just kind of get um, left. So I'm trying to update you all with everything that's been going on this week. And obviously it's just been, it's just been nice. Like I was saying earlier on, it's just been nice having family here to just not do that much. You know, we're always so busy and we've always got so much stuff to do. Um, and it's it's only us here, obviously. So it's just me and Ben and the kids. Um, of obviously that's a lot of us. But what I mean is, there's no kind of no family back up. There's nobody to go around and have a cup of tea, you know, sit in Granny's house or whatever. Um, so it's just been nice this week to just relax a little bit and just spend time just being, you know. Obviously the kids are off as well. Um, so you've been trying to get out and about, but just doing stuff with them as well, even just at home, you know. I do like when they're away, when they're off from school, away from school um, and they're home, it's nice to just, you know, go out for a walk or cuddle up on the sofa and read a book or watch a film or all those sorts of things that you can't really do when, when they're at school. So it's, you know, it's doubly nice really because we've been able to relax that little bit more because of um, having Granny and Granddad here as well. So just have other people's company so yeah um we also had olivia's birthday this week so she was 17 um i can't actually remember what vlogs i've done this week and what i haven't i know we did the cooking one but i can't actually remember uh, to be fair i can't even remember what i've told ben day to day so there's definitely no way i'm going to remember what i've told you guys day to day so i may well repeat myself some of this stuff you might already know but i can't remember what i've told him i don't even remember what i told the kids half the time um, yes, can you hear them? It's so noisy. So yeah, it was Liv's birthday on Wednesday. So yeah, Liv's birthday. She was 17. Um, obviously Ben was at work. Uh, so we didn't go very far on her actual birthday. Um, we just kind of just stayed at home really. Liv did quite a lot of online shopping for me that day. Favourite thing to do. So she was checking out all the Christmas stuff. It was also Amazon Prime Day, 10th and 11th. So she had a whale of a time just sitting and doing all my online Christmas shopping, picking out all the stuff that she wants to get for the little ones. Um, I do tend to kind of let them, like especially with the twins, because they know exactly what things that are good to buy that they like. That they, you know, the twins are Barbie obsessed um, and lives great at hunting out deals. She always has been, ever since she was little, tiny little, she would be the one that would go to a shop with a pound and probably end up coming home with one pound fifty and a load of stuff. I don't know how she does it. She's always been a bargain hunter. Um, she's always come back with the most stuff for the least amount of money. Um, she's better than I am at it. So she's got a real knack for um, spending very little money and getting the most. So she's always on the hunt for discount codes for clothes, uh, stuff that you know she's she's like me in the sense of when i'm shopping like online shopping i do do a lot of online shopping for christmas because i get frustrated at shopping that i can never find what i want um if i'm specifically looking for something and i like to be able to make sure that i'm getting it for the best price because sometimes amazon especially on prime day will mark some of the prices up and then cut them down so you think you're getting a massive deal but in actual fact you could sometimes get it cheaper elsewhere so i'm terrible for well it's not terrible really it's quite a good thing I will look around at something if there's something that I want and make sure I get it for the best price that I can find. Sometimes it doesn't work out quite well enough because sometimes I'll leave it too long and then it will have been gone 
um i do it in the shop sometimes i see things and i'm like oh that's a really good price i won't get it now though because i might you know i might be able to find it somewhere else and then you go back and it's gone so it's kind of swings and roundabouts but i do like to make sure i'm not very good at making decisions on things and i do like to make sure that i'm getting things for the best prices and olivia is very much like that as well so she um she was hot on the amazon prime stuff that day um and then in the evening of her birthday we had to go get some shopping so that's florence i can hear her um so yeah we had to we had to go and do sort of had to go and get a couple of bits in asda and tesco's but we also had to do home bargains um b m all those sorts of places so we just kind of went on it oh we had to go into town as well may or may not have got starbucks but it was her birthday so yeah um so she had a good day it was a nice day um just chilled really just just chilled spent you know with everybody else family the little ones adore it when it's people's birthday so they all crowded round her where she opened her presents and they all made cards for her as as they do with everybody um but they were so sweet their cards were honestly so sweet toby's card was the sweetest little card and the girls had made a real effort um live loves flamingos so they'd all drawn a flamingo on a card off their own backs you know they just go in and, and do it it used to be that we would do them cards for other siblings and stuff with with them but they just go off and do it on their own back off their own backs now so whenever it's anybody's birthday they all go in and make um make cards for each other obviously not the older ones so much now they used to when they were little um but not so much now but yeah no but it was a good day um we've only just done her cake today because we had cupcakes and then there was some other cakes but we wanted to do the cake cake that isabel made if you've seen my um instagram or facebook you will see pictures of the cake isabel did her cake and it's amazing it's a abba themed um dancing queen cake it's fantastic absolutely brilliant tastes just as good as it looks um so yeah isabel did made that we did it this morning before granny and granddad left uh and then gave them a bit to take away with them which they ate when they were near glasgow i think and um said it was very yummy it is very yummy dairy free of course as isabel makes all the cakes dairy free so that agnes can have them as well um so yeah we did that this morning i think they're going to have it in a minute after uh after their tea I might have a bit as well, possibly. So the plan is, Olivia obviously wanted to go shopping for her birthday. So I'm thinking at the moment, we were planning on going to Inverness on the Saturday. We've got quite a few busy weekends coming up. Um, so next weekend, we've also got the fair here this weekend and the kids wanted to go to the fair on Sunday. Um, next weekend, Olivia's got a competition uh also want to go to over to cooper park at some point because the leaves are all starting to feel, fall off the tree trees and um florence is obsessed with the leaves the autumn leaves probably the first kind of year that she will have noticed because she would have only been like what um six months old last year uh so she's you know she's fully noticing she's chasing these leaves around so we've got to go to cooper park um before all the leaves kind of get wet and horrible so I think tomorrow is going to be the day that we'll probably go to Inverness for a girly shopping trip because I can't, uh, we haven't really forward planned it that much. We've just kind of gone, oh yeah, we're going to go to Inverness, but not really thought about the best day to go. So I think we're going to do that tomorrow um, and go over so she can have a look in Primark mainly and some other shops for the day. Uh, so that'll be, yeah, I'm thinking we'll probably do that tomorrow. So that'd be good. Um, and the weather's supposed to be okay, apart from being really cold. So that's probably what we're going to do. And I think I've kind of updated you with everything, really. Uh, I can't think. So I think Joseph is getting his cast off on the 2nd of November, I think. So he's got a few more weeks left yet. And fingers crossed that will have fixed everything, I'm hoping. Um, and hopefully he'll get movement back in his elbow and all will be well touch wood hopefully he's young enough to um have you know bones that are easy to fix touch wood. 
anyway um yeah just a quick kind of roundup of the week really from me uh i'm gonna go and see if there's any cake left which hopefully there will be uh so hope you've enjoyed this catch-up video don't forget to drop us a like um and oh actually i've got a halloween haul coming up as well which i'm going to film later on um so yeah keep an eye out for the next video drop us a like and we will see you oh subscribe as well i always forget what i'm supposed to say you know what i forget what i'm supposed to say and um yeah we'll see you in the next video bye